everyone. I wanted to show you something I have been working on. Uh, I like to collect um, the little fortune cooking, cookie sayings and quotes, um, Chinese proverbs, whatever you want to call them, um, at the uh, when we go to eat Chinese. And so I've been saving them for, for something, and I really wasn't sure what. And so this, I actually did the cover to this a long time ago, like several months ago. Um, well, it's been since January. So. <laughs> Um, and so I really didn't have anything specific, but I knew that I wanted to use it in this manner. And this is children's book that was damaged, and I sanded it, broke it down, and um, I just added a quote here that says, Always remember you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars. And, um, and then here it says, This is the spirit. And so then I just added some um, fibers to it, and these charms were made by Kay over in the UK. She sent me um, a gorgeous rack a while back. And then you just open it up to the first page. And this will just flip on the desk or whatever. And then I've got a fortune here and it says you will be fortunate in everything. And then I just added some, uh, uh, this is for my dress or something. It just cut it off and then I use the button. Love the button. Paper is just for my scraps. And on this side, I've got um, just some fibers I drew through there, and um, then I added the, the quote, and then I added some um, eyelets here. And these are some that I had gotten in a swap. And then again, I just added some scraps that I have. I have a little drawer that I keep all of my miscellaneous things in, and then I just pulled from it. I just opened my scrap, my scrap box of paper, and then my, fi my scrap fibers, and then I added some miscellaneous bling that I had. And um, I thought it just turned out really, really, really cute. Whoops, wrong way. Then I added glass and put some glossy accents and some glitter at the top. Make it look like some eyes and some ribbon. Okay. This is um, just a die cut that I had, and then I added some fibers and some ribbon, and then I added a uh, corduroy. Uh, brad to it. And I just used um, white acrylic on the edges. I just did it kind of haphazardly. I wasn't really picky about it. And then um, this page, I added the quote, and then I added one of the paper flowers along with um, a button and some fibers. This is all from a children's book. There's actually two children's books here that were damaged and I recycled them. And I love these colors. And that just gorgeous and left the hummingbird there. And this one's about home. So I found a, um, a die cut that I had of um, a house. And then this, I just added some fibers randomly. And then I added, these are from the Mariposa uh, chip board collection and, that I had. And I, I like them. So I thought that would be fun to use on this paper. Let's see. Yes, this way. Love this one, too. And uh, again, there's the fibers. This one was tore, but that's okay. And then I added um, another one of the pieces of chipboard and then a pen I got in a swab along with the flower. Love how the fibers stick out from under that one. This one I added glossy accents and just some bling. This is actually from Tim Holt Packaging. And I thought it was very pretty. Then I just added some, um, uh, whatever we call this, <laughs> tassel cord. And then added some bling, and then of course my quote. And then I got this also in a swap, and so it's got, this is follow your beliefs. And so I had a bumblebee stick pin that I cut, and this is a, um, what's under it is a tab using the Stampin' Up! punch. And I just folded it and stuck it on there, and put it on a piece of chipboard so that I could stick the pin in. Added some fiber, and then I added my little fence, and I raised it up. So, and there's a B, same beliefs, and that was some of my um, extra alphabets. And then this one I thought was absolutely gorgeous. I added the ribbon and then the quote and these cute buttons. And then I just added some fiber that I had, or whatever they call this, um, that I got in a swap and uh, button and some flowers. And then the back is another decoupage piece. And um, this is one I was just learning and I used a rusty, um, whatever, you call that washer. <laughs> Shows you how much I know about the shop. And 
uh, just had fun with it. And there's music in the background. Um, I've got several hymnals that my husband used to be a music minister, so some of them are were ready to be retired <laughs> along with him. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. This was just a fun project, and I hope you get inspired to to reuse, uh, recreate, recycle um, in your art as well. Thank you for joining me.